Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show, our Arizona weekly update today. And uh, we're going to jump right in and show you that uh, as the job numbers came out, and it was expected that they were going to be lower than projected. And, uh, and then, of course, it'll be revised again, just like they revised the June numbers and the July numbers. And But the bottom line is, you know, the jobs are starting to wane a little bit, and the bond market is taking notice and saying, okay, well, this is going to make central bank lower rates some more. And we're starting to see a little bit of that now down 6.27. This is an average. It's a survey and it's an average. And uh, um, so, you know, you can find lower rates. You can find higher rates if you want to. But that's what's that's what's going on in the mortgage market. So we expect it to kind of stay that way and just kind of roll around there. I've cautioned people that when you hear people saying that the central bank is going to lower rates in September and get out there now and buy because the, it's going to open the floodgates. They're going to lower rates in September, the central bank, but the bond market already has. So mortgage rates have already gone down in anticipation of what they're going to do at the September 18th meeting, I think it is. But one of the things that I like to watch, and you know I like to follow the Cromford market data, is I'm seeing an uptick in listings, not because we have more new listings coming on, but because sales are dropping off, so the attrition rate is not as, as high. And I also have to caution that the latest numbers that I'm looking at um, is Labor Day weekend, and so sales drop off. So sales dropped off, listings were still out there. The number of new listings that we had come on were about the same as what they've been all month, but the net result is we've gone up to about 18,800 today, which is considerably higher than where we've where we've been but the real one that I'm waiting to get updated here and this is one that uh, again move my ugly mug here this is one that I like and it's a measure of supply and demand you can see that right there see those red numbers that is demand coming down the blue one supply they've crossed and this is August I expect any day now to get the update from September and that blue line may be even higher than the red line. What does that mean? Why do I bother to tell you that? Well, that's that's pricing pressure, folks. That that means that uh, it's it's going to be harder for you to sell your home, and uh, you may need to look at some price reductions out there. That's that's what it means when you see that supply and demand change. And you can see here that uh, our active listings have gone up from 17.8 to 18. 18.2, 18.4, and as of this recording, 18.8. So listings have increased. This is the other one that's really spiked, folks. While people are asking a certain price for their home, they're asking it in anticipation of giving you some massive seller concessions. And look at how that has spiked. That is up now to 60%, 60.7%. That's the highest, I believe, we've been on record offering amazing seller concessions. And um, that's not, doesn't look like that's going down. And, and so, you know, that's a telltale sign that it's getting harder and harder to, to sell homes. And this is one of the reasons that the market kind of reacted, August jobs report highlights 142,000 new jobs. They were forecasting 161,000, but they're going to they're gonna revise it again. So who knows? Uh, it's interesting. New jobs, 4.2% unemployment. Said it dropped from 4.3. Uh, wages went up 0.04. Uh, they rise, rose 3.8% from 36 and here it is here, U.S. job gains in July lowered to 89,114. So these things move around like crazy. U.S. job gains in June revised down 118,000 from 117,000. So when you see a new report, just sit back and wait for them to revise it. So what's going on with our average sales price per square foot? I filtered this one to take out a million dollars because that one really alters this. Uh, but this is where we're at. It's showing... We went in July from 250 a square foot to 258. And this is average price per square foot. If you actually take a look at the past trend, you kind of say, well, how far off are we? Um, 
you know, I suppose if we wanted to get down to our normal trends, then we could say statistically, well, we might end up down here. And then we can all sit back and go, okay, we're back to normal, despite what happened during the silly season. But that's uh, for greater minds than I. Um, I'm looking at going into September and saying that there's going to be more sitting on our hands than we anticipate. And I say that we as an industry. Um, I don't see people running out and getting in a hurry to buy a home because they think there's going to be more activity and shorter supply. Everything I'm looking at is saying the opposite. It's saying buyer activity may go up a little bit um, in September just because it does here in Phoenix. But we also get more inventory in October, November than we do in the summer. So I think that inventory will gradually continue to increase just because sales won't catch up to it. So we might be 1900, 1905 going into mid-October. And that's not going to put pricing pressure um, upwards. You already saw the chart. Pricing is going to stay where it's at or it's going to start to dip. It's going to come down. Or you think 60% concessions is big, just wait. That may get even larger. Now, concessions, uh, that only works until appraisals start catching up with you. Then you're going to have to adjust your price. So, But that this doesn't say that things aren't selling because they are. It depends on the neighborhood. It depends on the price point. There's enough activity out there that the absorption rate is still pretty good. In fact, if I look and measure the number of listings that have come on and the number of contracts, are still 92% going under contract. That's not a bad number. Uh, but we're not seeing anything fall off a cliff as much as people want to anticipate that and cheer for that. Um, it's not there. It's not there yet. The market for us uh, starts to pick up September and October, but we got that fun little election. It just makes people jittery. And uh, so it's a good excuse to say stay home for a lot of folks. I'm not playing in this sandbox. I'm going to wait. So everything says October is going to be a snoozer. November is always a snoozer. So is December because they're holidays. But don't shy away from listing during the holidays because that's when the serious buyers out there. You won't get as much foot traffic. But if somebody's looking in December, they're looking for a reason. They probably have a job transfer and they're moving here and they need to see a house. So, um, so don't shy away from listing if you think that things are going to slow down in December because, you know, newsflash, they always do. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at rick at rickhelps.com. Take care.